And welcome back everyone! We're back with Crystal Clear. Uh, yeah, we completed the Pokedex now. Uh, I have 91 goddamn hours clocked in. But, uh... We can just proceed with everything. Also, I have changed some of the music, which I will immediately show you one of them. Time flies when you're holding down the turbo button. <laughs> yes! Oh yes, I have put Guile Steam in the Pokémon Center. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> that was used for Lieutenant Surge. Even though Surge looks more like Duke Nukem than he does, uh, Guile. So yeah, before we go ahead and, uh, fight the Elite Farce, uh, because yeah, at this point that's what their name, uh, first of all, we have a rematch to do with a certain someone back in the Slowpoke well. Oh boy! Considering all my team is level 75, this sh hopefully should not be a problem. It'll probably go from a curb stomp to a curb stomp in the other direction. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, I have also changed a few other uh, music tracks, like the wild encounters. I think I put like uh, either Lugia or Ho Ho Steam. Lamp chop strength along. Now the question is, uh, who is he leading with again? I think he leads with Gengar. I it, yeah, I think it's a Gengar. So yeah, let's. Uh, Actually, no, dog meat would be a good idea to stick with. Because it should resist most of what he has to throw at us. This trainer seems really strong. Your children, you want to challenge him. I'm Ness, it's been a long road getting here. Soon I'll be. Soon I'll be. Challenging us, apparently. It is Herdbound's Ness, and he's fighting us. Oh my god, us. it's Gigas! Yeah, it would be really funny if he had a Mewtwo. Because Gigas looked like Mewtwo in the Earthbound beginnings. <laughs> That's true. He kinda does, yeah, I remember that. Uh, yeah, he whose name we should not pronounce uh, backwards is next. Gigas? Oh wow, it's a shiny oh, one! <laughs> oh, it's... Uh, oh, I see. Muck. Yes. Oh, it's shiny! Therefore, it is exactly what Psyche is full of. <laughs> So far so good, next we have Lapras, which should be good for Lamb Chop. Honestly, I probably should have come back here last stream. I probably was high level enough for this, but you know. Well, one, it probably slipped your mind, and two, I wasn't here to steer you in the wrong directions. <laughs> uh, Pylos one, we can send the uh, good old zits against it. Uh, it is ground ice, right? Correct! It is not a shiny pile of swine like I have, however. Moo ha 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 ha. <laughs> okay, we have a vile plume. This is a good call for Coco. Yeah, considering all the levels up we have, this is not a problem whatsoever. Come on, Mewtwo! Come on, Mewtwo! 
And not Mewtwo, but Mew. And we will send dog hey, meat. Close enough. <laughs> and it is a shiny Mew as well. Of course it is! Because Ness is made of... Prepare to face my Super Ultra Mambo Tango Foxtrot Martial Arts! Because Ness is made of four-leaf clovers, rabbit's foot, and her horseshoes. I mean, technically, I think back in Gen 3 there was an event where it was technically possible to get the shiny Mew, but good freaking luck actually getting it. Okay. You can get a shiny Mew in this. Yeah, but, you know... If you try hard enough. It's probably a case of, before triggering that one event, I would have needed to actually... <laughs> then he just spins and vanishes. <laughs> he probably used Teleport Beta. Wonder Woman! Uh, where are my... Did I deposit my... God damn it, I deposited my freaking <laughs> escape ropes. No, you have to walk back like 10 feet. Also, I like how you have like 40 sacred ash. Only 10, because oh. they do cost quite a bit. Oh. Speaking of cost, actually, uh. I do have a lot of money. <laughs> I probably should spend that money before I go to the Elite Force. And I actually Maybe. know exactly in what You're I'm gonna near spend. The money cap! Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> I mean, I kept fighting the gym leaders, and with an amulet coin, they give uh, fifteen thousand go each. A goddamn monster! <laughs> hey, let's go to Viridian real quick. Actually, there is something I remember seeing in this particular mart. If we scroll down completely... They sell rare candies. I could Voltorb flip, but you don't want me to see, do, see me do that forever, so let's buy 50 of them. Why even bother? They're like... <laughs> As I, say, I mean, I have the money, because... I might as well. Yeah, but you're at a level where you can pretty much curb stomp the rest of the game. Not even red's gonna be that much of a challenge. No, it's not even for red, it's for the elite farce. I know red I can probably beat easily. But the elite also, farce, also, however... The, the elite farce will only go up in levels after you beat them the first time. Okay. But first, Professor Hokey yeah. Smokes! Good to see you! Would you like to battle with me? Show me what you have learned! Good news, everyone! I'm a Pokémon Master! I have no idea what to expect from this battle. He starts with Eevee. Uh, okay, I'm this is gonna to be bad just, This is gonna I'm be bad. I'm willing to bet that he has, like, the three Kanto starters, Eevee, and, uh, Pikachu. That's possible. We'll find out soon enough, I guess. I guess that's oh, a good way to actually get them in your... Oh no, Gyarados! Not oh, what so I was expecting. Fuck is... Why the fuck is this still an Eevee at level 40? Guess he didn't feel like giving it a stone or making it happy enough to actually evolve for some reason. Which is really weird. <laughs> Uh, Tauros, uh, um, actually I think I made Coco learn the event move, so that could be, let's try it out. And what move would that be? Low kick! Uh, that has maybe 50 power at most. That did kill it, however. Yeah, because you're like 35 <laughs> levels higher than it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Alright, here's Arcanine. Uh, I see. It's based off as, uh... 
It's based off of his team, or his uh, dummied out team. And, uh, oh, yeah, them. I remember that. Actually, Except there's someone the who... Carter is, all, is Eevee for some reason. However, so they are much more lower level than they were in that dummy uh, thing. Yeah, that's a strange thing. I was expecting it to be in, like, the 60s. Me too, actually. I'm not just dumb old duff. Let me show you what made me the authority. <laughs> yeah, having uh, 25 levels under what I have, sure. Oh, that's you right. You need courage, after all. Who needs courage <laughs> when you have a gun? That's right, I have leftovers on my old team, by the way. Wow. Profolk was defeated. Hey, Opai, how's it going? Cause guns, cause guns solve everything nowadays. No, that was some good exercise. Thanks, Emily. Can you fight him over and over? Okay, no. I think he resets after beating the elite farce. <laughs> Professor Oat. He's oh, by the way, I found out that uh, if you want to actually have the starter scene, you can check the the it's computer here. There's the same type of computer in Professor Helm's uh, lab. Not that it really matters, cause you know, full freaking Pokedex and everything, but you know. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Uh, Alright, I guess. Tired. <laughs> Yeah, I'm that's understandable. For, I'm only here for brief time. Okay, that should be enough time to kill the elite farce. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, anyways, I need to check something, just to be sure. Yeah, it is 50 power, but it can cause flinching, so... If I remember right, the first elite farce will be leading with a Toro, so I wanna start with Coco. The elite fork. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that could the also be it. The elite spork. Anyways, the only reason I'm here is not for this. Yeah, where is that salesman? Because, I mean, I don't need more max survive, I think. No, definitely not. I have 57 of the goddamn thing, so I'm pretty sure I'm good. <laughs> this should be the guy? No. I want an higher floor then. Okay, there it is. I'm gonna and buy some X items. And with that, my eye has to depart. Already? Told Jeez, you, told, okay. Told you, I was, told you it was brief. All right, All well, right. thanks okay. for stopping by for yeah. a few seconds. Laters. Yeah, so we're buying some uh, stat increaser. Not sure if I'm actually gonna need them, but I'll have them just in case. And also, well, uh, I have bought some rare candies in case bad things happen. I don't think I'm gonna need them, but they're there if I need them. Anyways, we need to go to the Indigo Plateau. So, would the Rule 63 version of you be Pan Am? What? <laughs> I don't know, it was just something that popped into my head. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if only, if only I thought of that when Opie came in. Yep, uh, I'm we sure have the you would have had a field day with it. All right, this is gonna be my last save. I'm gonna try to go through this whole thing without having to save the game. And by this... that you mean a save state. Yes. New Elite 4 rules are in effect. We may not switch out. Well, we can switch out, but you need to use a turn. And we immediately get stopped. 
Don't change my options on me, game. I'm not fighting real people here, no matter how much you try to make it seem like it. Uh, yeah. Considering these, uh... These guys are pretty... Somewhat buff. Because from what they're you told buff, me, buff. They're, they have perfect IVs and everything. Yeah, they're buff, but this is also Gen 2 AI, so they're also pretty stupid. Which, uh, may really doesn't sell the whole, Hey, you're fighting us for reals. <laughs> you know what? Let's use... Let's use an next attack. And then he uses Rock Slide! Fortunately, no, he's using strength for some reason. I guess it's because it's stab, but still, strength is not a good move. <laughs> if I had to guess, it doesn't actually have rock slide. I guess. And. Like oh god, okay. Rock slide in this generation? I need to check that out. Uh. Yeah, let's try low kick, anyways. I have the attack boost. Maybe I can. Nope. There's Hydro Pump! Oh boy! Actually, I'm surprised it did not use a rock move on me. Uh, I'm a star doesn't. The only rock move it can learn is Ancient Power, which is kind of bad. Oh god, another freaking tank. And its uh, physical attack stat is nothing to write home about. Uh, I'm not gonna take any chance. I have my buff. I'm gonna use an hyper potion. Well, eventually. Oh god, metronome. Uh, and I don't think that brick break is a thing in this gen. Nope. Don't you but, dare uh, paralyze. Okay. I looked it up and Tauros can't learn Rock Slide. Aha. Uh -huh. At least not in this gen. Get it later? Uh, it can learn Stone Edge. Eh, uh, okay. Somewhat mirror match. You know what? Let's try Tri Attack. Maybe we can get a cheap freaking uh, <laughs> status effect. Unfortunately, not. instantly. I wish it was, but you know, perfect freaking IVs and all. Uh, to be fair, I've heard that if you fight the elite farce over and over again, they eventually get to those levels. So I thought they only increased their levels once. Oh boy, Dragonite. I'll baptize you with water, then flame. Sure. Uh, no, crit uh, as of Gen 2, criticals no longer depend on speed. Yeah, that was only in Gen 1, and I think it was only a bug. As with many things in Gen 1. Um, sure, use that freaking no, full the, the restore. Bug <laughs> the bug thing about... Uh, Critical hits in Gen 1 was that uh, things like focus energy would actually lower your critical hit chance. Alright. Looks like you'll be a challenge for them. This is the furthest that... I've seen so far. And that bug was fixed in Pokemon Stadium. Their next opponent is gonna be quite tough, trust me on that one. Got other work to do, I'll catch you later. Please no. Please no. How about catch you never? Oh nice, they're actually nice enough to heal you before you actually move on to the real Elite Force. Yeah. Is that Cynthia's team? Oh, I shit. wouldn't be surprised. It is! 
It's been quite a while since any trainer hey, collected go, eight gym hey. badges. Actually, I have 16 of them, but whatever. Yeah, this is the Elite Force. Emily has come here to do a challenge to us. The Elite Four. Let the us Elite prepare. Four. I especially look forward to seeing how good you are. They're not gonna mention what type they are, are they? No, because they don't specialize in types. Because that would make too much sense and we can't do this. Hmm. Okay. Who to lead with? Uh, no, Earthquake. <laughs> the elite nerds. <laughs> the elite fuckfaces. No, I actually wanted to put zits in front. Alright, let's try this. If you use a uh, walk through walls code out um, outside uh, in the Indigo Plateau, there are a bunch of doors apparently for debug purposes that just go straight to these rooms. Uh huh. Yo, Emily, glad you made it. Surprised to see me here? Ha! Huh, well, I don't spend all my time in the field. Though I'm sure you noticed that I made this room look more natural. My Pokemon helped me keep it watered, but anyway, less word, more art. It's my honor to welcome you to the Elite Four. The name's Robert, and I'll be your first challenge. I learned a lot about many kinds of different Pokemon from my time in the field. Shut Let's up! see how much you know. And we have a team I do not recognize at all. And I didn't mean you, I meant this asshole who wouldn't keep his mouth shut. I don't care who you are, Robert. Just roll over and die for me. All right, we will start with the next special. See? Nerds. They just keep talking. Well, fortunately, Vino Shock is not a thing, and uh, if I need to, I have way too many full restores, so I might as well just use that. What is next? Wigglytuff! Wiggles! Let's see if a Stab Surf will be enough to take you out with a special boost. It totally is! And the good thing is in Gen 2, if you take out an opponent, while you're poison, you don't get poison damage. Oh boy, Starmie. Uh, I, don't think they, I don't think they ever changed that until Gen 4. See, thunder! Duh. Okay, that did not do too much, but I'm gonna full restore just to get rid of that freaking... Uh, that freaking poison. Although that does protect me from paralysis, so I'm gonna... I have used the... Attack booster, I'm gonna try the Earthquake. Okay, did not critical at least. <laughs> Robert kills you from boredom. <laughs> he kills you with five walls of text that are somehow make less sense than Atlanta Knights. <laughs> This is totally gonna paralyze, isn't it? Okay, dead. Good. Uh, let's try putting you to sleep. Even though I, I technically believe... don't need to. I can't believe you won using your wallet. <laughs> I mean, technically it's not gonna be very effective, but I am boosted and it's almost dead anyway, so there we go. Yeah, uh, Starmie with Thunderbolt is actually a good idea. <laughs> Starmie is amazingly versatile. Ooh, Raichu has Stab, however. Oh, God! That Raichu needs to die. Okay. <laughs> 
Raichu's looking at you like, you mad, bro? And Nidoqueen, summon the storm. Yes, please use Rain Dance for no reason. To make sure that my Surf one-shots you. Wow, all this freaking team storm. has Thunder, Jesus Christ. At least this does out outspeed the Nido Queen. Is at least that. Yeah, you didn't need to heal at all. They didn't want to take any chance. I mean, I have a ton of healing items. Hey, level 76. Boop, 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 boom. There we go. Is it another wall of text? You know your stuff. Okay, phew. You sure know a lot about Pokemon. You're gonna need it to take the rest of us. But my part is done. All Why I can do is wish you luck. Oh, let me down. He talked to thematically. Oh. <laughs> it's still a watch all of text. Okay, and I have way too many elixirs, so I might as well use them. And, uh, yeah, I probably should have uh, switched to something else. Uh, let's see. Uh, the AI in Gen 1 was hilariously easy to fuck with. Also, I like how the gate closing is just two fence tiles. Um, no, let's try dog meat. The real hero of Fallout. Hi, diddly doodly, Emily. I was too lazy to change this room's design. I like the birds and the bees, the trees. What? Oh, right. I'm a Lady Eat 4, I guess. I got some Pokemon, too. You wrote this one. I've been known by many names, but my true time of power is Doom! How fitting is that's what Psyche is playing. Oh my god, is Sprite even as the freaking bench? Howdy doodly. Maybe I should have switched to Lamb Chop. God damn it. It looks even more like Ned Flanders than usual. And that's Cynthia's battle team. <laughs> Thief! Thief! Destroy! Uh, that will do 55 damage. Uh, we'll use our next special. I'm actually surprised I'm outspeeding this Noctal, because Namchop is not very fast. Noctal isn't very fast either. Also, level advantage. That's true. Beedrill! Be Not the bees! I have Fire Punch, you're dead. Hopefully. Yes, okay. <laughs> and next is Zatu. You're also getting a Thunderbolt in the face. And it outspeeds me, awesome. Fortunately, it does barely anything. Because Lamb Chup is kind of a tank. So far, so good. There's Omanite, which is shiny. <laughs> You're also getting a Thunderbolt. Why isn't it an Omastar? Yeah, I mean, this is the Elite Four. It sh everything should be fully evolved by now. <laughs> Zatu is now KFC. And Octillery. That's oh, an so interesting choice. And you get a Thunderbolt, and you get a Thunderbolt. Diddly doodly, but then I remember. And the Reflect Fade. Diddly doodly, but then I remember. Godly doodly. It will be shiny when cooked and served on a plate. Mmm, <laughs> sparkling seafood. Youch, seafood soup. It lead defeated. Ugh, Emily, you can move on to the next room. Fire. And get off my lawn! 
God damn it. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, I don't think I even need to heal Lamb Trap. Not. Yeah, let's not take any chance. It's a waste of an eye proportion, but I have all the fucking money in the world, honestly. And I'm not gonna need all these items for red. It's not happening. <laughs> Why is Ned Flanders in this? Because uh, hello, uh, Mario because Brothers Underground came, Team? Because when it came to designing the Elite Four, the, crea the, the creators of this hack were creatively bankrupt. He already caught everything. Check out his Pokedex. Sixty-four drive. There's a Wii in dust. That's a SNES. Because the Wii is quite terrible. Wait, what did that say? A dark level with a bunch of pipe. Those weird things moving around look like Pokemon. Yes, Goombas. <laughs> And done. You chat all day about video games, especially with all. more than 1200 games in my collection. But what I really love is hardware. Buttons, screen, batteries, tangible assets, my friend. But I bet you're the type of person who plays game on emulator. I am Fibef of the Elite Four. I'm a bit of a jack of all trades, but I've spent many years training Pokemon. As a kid, I would catch and trade Pokemon until my thumbs bruised red and blue. I'm not much for battling, but as a member of the Elite Four, I am obligated to test your abilities. Let's see you bust something out. Let me revise his dialogue. I'm Fibbeth of the Elite Four. I'm kind of a jackass. Anderson. And it's... An, uh, it's an Alakazam. Be careful, there might be some weird mold in this room. And also we have uh, Contra music. Cause why not? Alright. Oh yeah, this song. Why are you using the Fire Punch? The <laughs> the only other song in uh, the Commodore 64 version. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Alright, crunch. <laughs> nom nom. Oh, come on, dog meat. You're at like 2 XP from a level. Oh great, well, you're getting a crunch too. <laughs> Cause dark type is special in this. There we go, level 76. Captain Crunch is a better move. Charville. Oh, Porygon too, that's an interesting choice. I will use Flamethrower cause it has more power than Crunch. And reverse all is barely gonna do anything. Dog Pound! Mirror Match! Okay! I will use an X Attack. Do we have the same moveset or something? <laughs> Cause I also have Sludge Bomb on my freaking thing. Maybe it wasn't in your best interest to damage me more. And Togepi. Woohoo! Shiny Togepi! This thing's gonna explode. Hello, <laughs> Commodore 64 version. <laughs> this is Fibbeth's new theme song. <laughs> He's gone now. <laughs> Shut down. 
Seems like you've got the skills, my friend. Emily, it seems it was a treat seeing what you've made of. Now, head into the next room to see if you can keep the ball rolling. So far, this is going okay. This is going much faster than I was expecting, to be honest. That's because you're over level just so you can speed through this crap. <laughs> Alright, I'm poisoned. I have a bunch of full heals, might as well use them. Alright, uh, yeah. Might want to switch to something else here. Let's, uh... Dirk or Mia, both have not seen any screen time so far. Let's try Mia. Yawn. <laughs> ah, good to see you again, Emily. I designed my room in a way that will keep me calm and focused during battle. The water around us helped me meditate with my slowpoke. Maybe it will aid you in our battle as well. Now, allow me to properly introduce myself. I'm Anibon of the Elite Four, and years ago I too challenged the Elite Four. However, I lost. I had yet to learn the one universal truth about battling. A Pokemon and its trainer are one and the same. A calm, strategic trainer will lead smart, disciplined Pokemon, but a restless one. A clear mind holds the key to success, Emily. Do you have the discipline to achieve victory? What is this music? Well, I made a good call sending... <laughs> sending Mia first. Let's use Psychic. Easily a one shot, good. And we have, oh, Steelix. I don't have any good counter, I don't think. Other than maybe Giga Drain, but still. Uh, yeah, Gengar's probably gonna explode, actually. Especially if it does Earthquake. Unfortunately, that's not enough. Goodbye, Mia. You're the first casualty in the Elite Four. You're also weak to Earthquake, but you should outspeed it with Flamethrower. Next is another Dragonite. Well, you know what? We can play at that. Let's get in there. Dynamic Punch? <laughs> oh my. It's so dynamic that it confuses you. Okay, I don't know good. I don't understand this. I'm gonna look up the Japanese name. Maybe it's Dizzy Punch? No, because Dizzy Punch No, that's exists. right. They, they're two different moves. They're slow, bro. Well, since you're confused, might as well... Might as well do the whole switcheroo! Oh, that's right. I don't resist paralysis in this. Okay, in Japanese, Dynamic Punch is called Exploding Punch. That still doesn't explain the confusion. Nope. Wait, in Gen 2, it doesn't always confuse the target? Uh-huh. <laughs> Consider dynamic Punch inflicts damage and has a 99.6% Send out Aerocrux? 
Spoilers, it's not actually Heracross. Oh wait, yes it is, never mind. I was thinking of a different troll trainer. Alright, full restore time. Enemy Heracross? Used Earthquake. Okay, with leftovers, I'm over half HP. I should be able to at least get a fire punch in there. You know who would destroy this thing? Yeah, it would be Coco. Yes. And yeah, I'm gonna switch to Coco. So yeah, go ahead and do your freaking thing again, asshole. See how well it works for you. And he did! Goodbye, Heracross. With a question mark. Okay, what's last? Daddy! Apparently, Daddy is a slowpoke. I'm gonna wean you off life. What? <laughs> Whatever you say. Yes, I freezed him! Didn't mean to use try attack again, but it works. <laughs> Alright! That was the last Elite Four. Oh, and he did a Golgo 13 impression. Another Golgo 13 impression. Brilliant. I Don't stop now. Keep going. Well. I can't believe I lost to you. I cheated as much as possible. <laughs> All right. Although it does not possess any hands, Whooper can learn Dynamic Punch. What? <laughs> that makes and no yet, sense. And Hunter cannot. That's so weird. Zits, Lamb Chop, Mia, and I think Dog Meat also participated, as well as Coco, actually. In Cantonese, it's called Burst Punch and Dominating Punch. Alright! So, what awaits us in the All of Champions? Who. I think that's the How creator. You, who the hell do you think we Quite a it? piece of work you've accomplished. I'm impressed. To reach me here is no small feat. Behind me and in front of you are the door leading to the last room, the Hall of Fame. Emily, there's a lot I want to say but I can't. I hold the title of the champion. My job here is to see if you're a trainer who is worthy of entering that room. So I need you to show me. Emily, are you worthy? I freaking hope so. You can't call yourself the champion just because you hacked yourself in here, asshole. <laughs> you gotta earn the title! Let's see if we can do some Confuse X. NEVER! Yes! Actually, we can, and it has leftovers, of course. It restored HP with some leftovers! Nice! Twice the confusion! Alright! With a special op, let's try to do this. So far, so good. Jolteon is down. Naga! A shiny cloister! I've seen a lot of Nagas, and that is not a Naga. Guess it's because Milotic was not a thing? Also... 
cloisters looking at you all. <laughs> hey, I'm a vagina. Oh boy. At least it doesn't have Stan Stream in this, but still. Yeah, Tyranitar. I beat many Tyranitars, honestly. Or this plant pan thing. Pokemon! Pokemon! With the Pokey and the Mon and the little man going ha ha ha. Yep, that's definitely a Tyranitar. I'm surprised it doesn't have Earthquake, though, but still. I'm amazed it doesn't have Crunch. Pudge. Oh god. Uh, yeah. Let's switch, actually. Uh, Coco, get in there. <laughs> I like that that oh thing is. The nickname is Pudge. Asshole, you predicted it! Alright, as long as you don't crit, I can survive this. Let's use an attack up. Or you could do that, I suppose. Considering I'm not gonna use a special move on you. It's Morphs! Uh, the... Something... Uh, I'm the announcer! It doesn't matter what I say! <laughs> Saber! It's more resistant to special blows! Oh, it died anyways! I can't believe it! Fortunately, Drill Pick is neutral. It still survived it, but it tried to use Substitute! Yes! <laughs> it created a Substitute! It couldn't, it was too weak! Yep, Saber is just like... There's a peck in my brain. There's the final one! Tupletus! Tupletus? peck in my brain? I never cared which Pokémon were stronger, and I don't recall oh. ever wanting to be the best trainer. I've always only oh, fought with the Pokémon that I believe in. Which is also, a shiny... shiny... We didn't need the wall of text, bitch face! Also, Pan, that's top lettuce. Yeah, I figured it out. Nobody missed! It has curse. Yeah, let's switch. Why didn't you? Oh, never. Mind. It's a weird name for a Pokemon top lettuce. It's like that if you name your your ultimate destroyer of worlds. And Steve, that's like, it. Watch and out! It's Steve. It's Fluffy the Terrible. Champion SS was defeated. That was my last Pokemon. Oh, nice. Looks like that's champion. it. Emily, you've proven that you're worthy. You're the new league champion. And There's now I will never leave this place and still proclaim <laughs> I'm the champion. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I respect that you've put in the time and effort to make it this far. Your victory here is proof that you have earned the title of champion by grinding to level 75. That goes for both you and all your Pokemon. So with that in mind, <laughs> how about we go on to the next room and mark this accomplishment in the Hall of Fame. I see what you did there. There's a shiny level, level 70 swine up. This is a reward for getting all, uh, all the Pokemons. I mean, it attacks you regardless, but you're not allowed to catch it until you fulfill the whole Pokedex. Except you found one earlier, so this is completely pointless. And you know what? Since I'm not catching anything else... Master Ball. Master Ball! Wait, Piggy is moving too fast. It can't be caught at this speed. What? What? That's weird. And I lost the Master Ball. Well, shit. Uh, you should have saved it's state, a you fool. fucking master ball. It should work. This is not the goddamn anime where that fucking whiskash swallowed it. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. We've seen it. You I I have 
I have a I have a shiny p pile of swine actually. Emily is the rightful champ. Don't be so rowdy. He took on an extra Pokemon and still won. A true champion indeed. Let's move on to the next room. Piggy, you stay here. Piggy, you, oh, you can capture. Well, instead of capturing Piggy, you could just kill it and make it into bacon. <laughs> Actually, it uh, made a art sign. Man, just feel the atmosphere in here. There might have been so many different trainers who've been inducted into the league here. I'd probably imagine that you probably feel pretty good right now, yeah? This is where all league champions are honored for their effort. And of course, the Pokemon you got with you are too. Honestly, Emily, I kinda knew that you'd make it. I'm proud of you for accomplishing this victory. Anyways, yeah. As soon as you're ready, place your Pokemon up on the machine. Wait, I can actually move? Alright. There we go! I, Shucks Lair, a former champion, now register you, Emily, as the new champion. The I'm winds of change have blown across the land. It's just funny that the name Shock Sla Slayer is his name. It's like... It just sounds like something you hear off a goth album. Mia the Gengar, Dodrio, and Coco the Dodrio. Dog me the Undoom, which was my starter Pokemon. Lamb Chub the Emperor. Shock Slayer, what was your mom smoking when she named you that? Dirk the Dragonite. She was listening to goth music, that's why. And Zitz the Polito. Shock Slayer sounds like a bad indie wrestler. 251 scene, 251 own. For a folks rating, whoa, a perfect Pokedex, I'm dreamt about this, CONGRATULATIONS! And then Oak says, now I can finally die! The end. Yeah. <laughs> it goes directly to the end, okay. No credits that's or anything. Because, that's because the graphics used for most of the credit sequence are were replaced with a lot of the new graphics you see in the game. All right, so I'm guessing this is a soft lock, and I have to do uh, a B start select. Um, I don't, I don't remember. Okay, I'm gonna save state just in case, and I'm gonna do the A B start select. All right, where do we restart? Well, that seems about right. Our team is back here. Now then, we still have one more challenge to do. And if I remember right, actually, at this point, I could go and catch all the legendaries again, which obviously I'm not gonna subject anyone to. <laughs> but let's go to the Silver Cave. I don't think they come back if you've actually caught them. They don't? Okay. Oh, also, for those who missed it, I put Guile's team as the Pokemon Center team. <laughs> Anyways. Alright, we got one final challenge. Honestly, it's probably gonna be easier than the Elite Four, despite the fact that he's gonna be higher level than me. All that's left is red. <laughs> to think Guile owns the Pokemon Centers now. Alright, time to actually move out of dodge. It's like, so disappointing, this is such a good ROM hack, but then you get to the Elite Four and it's like a wet fart in your face. Oh yeah, that's right, there's those waterfall, but eh, we don't need to see that. I, I don't remember if there's anything even there. Apparently there's a cave entrance, but I know where Red is. And there's say, nothing impeding me to get there. Is. 
my opinion about it is I really like I really like the ROM hack until I got to the Elite Four, who felt more like a circle jerk. Yeah, I I felt that too, to be honest. Oh, there's still encounters here. God. Yes. I think uh, I think there might who be. Who are you? Our gold, soul, silver. Uh, you're definitely not red. Oh wait. Oh, right, because you started in Johto and picked female. Thus, and we finally get this fight. team! It's time to fight a mirror match against green! It's time to fight ourselves! We starts with the ditto for some reason. You fight well, a clone of yourself. It is level Speaking 81, so clones, it's definitely over level my level, so... Yeah, all fitting. <laughs> Why'd your team be nothing but six dittos? That would be weird. But I mean, weirder things have happened. And this is a weird palette for Politoed, but you know, it's one of the rarer times we'll actually see some- Why would you lose a full restore on ditto? Oh, you jerk! <laughs> it knew exactly what I was about to try. It's because your clone... It's just because your clone is just not that smart. Fortunately, it doesn't have any leftovers, so it can't just, uh... It can't just recover a little bit after the earthquakes. No, she doesn't actually. She, she doesn't have the leftovers. Of course oh, but it, it, <laughs> I mean, she does have all the full restores that I have. <laughs> actually, it, you're right. It doesn't copy the the held item. Maybe she does have all the full restores that I bought. Uh, I believe uh, boss trainers are programmed with only uh, two healing items. Well, so far I think she she's used two already. And... Ah, uh, it's so good to actually have this switch back. Anyways, uh, yeah, we'll send dog meat against Venusaur. Venusaur. Barely over out leveling me. Not by very much, and honestly, they're not perfect IVs, so yeah. I still remember in Art Gold, I actually beat Red with a team of level 60s. Yeah, I. Uh, like, in Gen 2 and their remakes, it's kind of really ridiculous. Like, the huge level jump. Yep. Like from they the they rebalanced it a red. little bit in Art Gold Soul Silver, but not enough for the jump between the Elite Four and Red. Uh, they what they did was just buff all the Kanto gym leaders. It still isn't enough though, and you still have to grind a lot to stand a chance against Red. It's ridiculous. Oh wow, I'm out leveling this Espion actually. Oh, 1 the well, HP. Red's team is like, I think, 70, 72 to 81? I think they were buffed, though, in Art Gold Soul Silver. Yeah, uh, his Pikachu goes up to 88. And Snorlax is next. Let's try with Coco. So far, I haven't needed to heal, so. Let's try and see if I can beat uh, Green here without healing once. Of course you missed.
Oh, uh, let's try try attack. Maybe getting more free zacks like I got earlier. No. But hey, if you're gonna do that, I'm gonna predict it, and you're probably gonna earthquake me for some reason. Okay. Even though I'm pretty sure it has pretty high special defense, we might as well try this out. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, at least it doesn't have berries. What? Something that really gets me in Heart Gold and Soul Silver is when you're trying to raise a ghastly. And like in the early game, everything has a dark attack. Yeah. Like, Bite and Assurance are really widespread. It's ridiculous. Alright, well, let's see if we can do this. I made it learn it despite my better judgment. Hyper beam and it missed. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. But yeah, the thing is with Dragonite is uh, its physical attack is higher and hyper beam is still considered physical. So, oh, it barely made enough damage. God damn it! It's probably gonna. No, it did not use rest actually. That's pretty surprising. Well, extreme speed should finish you off. Did I'm just looking at the hyper beam? Did you just shot that thing in the groin? <laughs> I mean, that's the pose Snorlax decided to use, so I guess so. But uh... Snorlax can't move. The only way you can attack it is by hitting the groin. Da 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 da. You have any idea how fat he is? He's pretty goddamn fat. He's like two. He, he's like two tons. He has to eat all the food so he can go back to sleep. Yeah, that's one of its many Pokemon entries, and there we go. That's game. And the uh, thing you get is that she kicks you out of the Matrix. Pokemon Trainer Green was defeated, and Golgo 13 and Tix. Da 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 da. And the oh, end screen. screen! Yeah, he pretty much says, Congratulations, you won. Now I'm going to erase the world, and you'll kick you out of the Matrix. So now you have to fight the machines in real life with your Pokemon <laughs> skills. <laughs> Uh, alright! Well, that was Pokemon Crystal Clear. Jesus Christ, that only took one hour.